This is the BMC Team Machine SLR01, belonging to the team's American Grand Tour contender, TJ Van Garderen. The frame for 2017 is exactly the same as was used last year, but rather than the stealth black that we've come used to over the last couple of years, they've gone for this rather bright red, which I must admit really does stand out from the crowd in the bunch. The engineers at BMC went through literally thousands of prototypes using their own proprietary ACE technology before settling on this design. An ultimate blend of stiffness, compliance and lightweight. Now looking at the position that TJ Van Garderen has on his BMC team machine, it's not actually that extreme. We've got at least five or six mils of stack height here and there's not a massive drop between seat height and bars. No negative inverted stem at all, actually rises up slightly here. That's a 14 centimetre 3T stem, that's an alloy stem, coupled up with 3T carbon bars, which interestingly are only 40 centimetres in width, so nice and narrow and pretty aero. Now in relation to the componentry, Shimano sponsor BMC, and on TJ's bike here, it is the brand new Durace 9 150 Di2 electronic group set. So calipers, front and rear mech, and the only variation from the brand new Di2, of course, is the chain set up front here. That's the old 9000 coupled up with an integrated SRM power meter. Now being quite a tall rider, unsurprisingly, Van Garderen has gone for 175 millimeter cranks with the classic pro front, um, front combination of 53-39. But interestingly, up back, Rather than the classic 11.28, which we've seen many riders have, he's actually gone for an 11.30, which I'd like to think will get him up pretty much every climb at the Giro d'Italia. Now, unsurprisingly, BMC, from a wheels perspective, are using the brand new Durace 9 100 wheel set. Now, that, the brand new wheel set only comes in two permutations, so the C40 and the C60s. And on this bike, we have the C40s with a far wider profile than the previous iteration, offering improved aerodynamics. And these are shod with Vittoria Corsa 25mm tyres, tubulars of course. Looking at the other two points of contact, TJ is actually using the Shimano PD9000, so the previous iteration of, uh, of uh, dual race pedals. He's got a Physique Alliante VSX saddle with a groove cut through the middle. This is actually one of the newer uh, saddles that the Physique have made. And again, with a proprietary aero seat post from BMC with a nice little pro clip for his number in the Giro d'Italia. Looking in a little bit more detail at TJ Van Garderen's bike, I do like this little finishing touch. This is just tighten things up. Nice little neat touch. Just a cover there to basically blend in the DI2 cable and the brake cable. And then you're probably wondering what this is. Well, this is a mount for the Velon tracker that many of the riders obviously in Velon will have for the Giro d'Italia. It's a little device, very much like a small mobile phone, just clips to the back there. And on the rear chainstay, we've got another two things. So we've got the GPS tracker here for the Giro d'Italia to make sure the riders uh, come across the line, get the right times, so they can monitor where they are. And then of course, he's got his cadence sensor also attached to the rear stay as well. Now the finishing touches to Van Garderen's bike that he hopes will pilot him to success in this year's Giro d'Italia are the Elite Bottle Cages and the SRM PC8 head unit up front. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, you can do so for absolutely free by clicking on the globe. Now for another BMC bike, this time Olympic champion Greg Van Avermaet's golden affair, how about clicking just down here? And for our BMC bus tour a couple of years ago from the Giro d'Italia, click just down here. And don't forget to like and share this video.